live running Leo Pure water purifier. Now, if you see, this is a TDS adjuster, this is a pH adjuster. Both are off. It is center means both are off. Now, I am going to show you the TDS level in this product. Okay, what TDS you are going to get? It is a 100% RO water. There is no mixing of alkaline uh, TDS adjuster, nothing like that. I will check the TDS level of this water first. It's zero. Okay, see this closely. It is coming 7. Pure water is coming 7. Okay, so what is the raw water then? Okay, this is the raw water which is connected to the tap, which is coming 289, 290. 290 converted to 7 TDS in Leo Pure water purifier without TDS adjuster, without alkaline. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to increase the pH adjuster, pH level in the water. See, I am going to increase the pH level. See here. Now, this water will come to here. Till now, it was not coming here. It was directly going to UV chamber and disconnected. It was coming here, then going to post carbon and coming to the storage tank. Now, which I have on the pH adjuster, now you are going to get the alkaline water. Now, let's check the, what is the TDS of the alkaline water. Now, it is coming 38. 37. Let me check once again. Okay, see this. 24, sorry. 24 it is. Okay, 24. Now, this is the TDS checking. Now, what I am going to do, I am going to show you uh, pH testing. Now, I am going to do without alkaline, what is the pH value of the RO water. Now, alkaline is stopped. TDS suggests also stop. You are not using anything. Now I am going to take a 10 ml of water, see it's a 10 ml, I am going to put a solvent, a reagent, which I am supposed to put only 10 drops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, now if you shake this, see this, this is the result of only RO water without alkaline. Now what pH measure it is giving? You can check here. It is 5, 5.5. You can very clearly check 5 or 5.5. So you are going to drink acidic water when you are buying any RO water purifier. Now I am going to adjust again the pH adjuster which I am going to increase the pH value of the water. Now I will clean it so that there should not be any mixture. So let me check the pH value of the Alkaline water. Okay, so now the water is coming from alkaline and going to post carbon, then going to storage tank. See this. Now it is exactly 10 ml. Okay. Now I am going to put same 10 drops here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now see this. You can see the difference now with the pH adjuster. Okay, you can see the pH value of 8.5 and 9 range, which is not possible in any water purifier. And one more thing, so you can if you don't want 9 pH value, you can reduce, you can adjust to this so that you can get a lesser pH value. Okay, now other companies what they are doing, they are increasing the TDS level in the water by doing a TDS adjuster. Now I have increased the TDS level. Now I am going to stop fully the pH. The pH will not come, the TDS is increased. Now you see the TDS level in the water. What kind of TDS it will show you? You see? Forty six. Directly it increased to forty six. Okay. Because the water is bypassing through UF membrane, from UF it is coming to UV chamber. 